Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is photo transistor. This is the last type of uh, photo detectors. So this is the construction diagram of a photo transistor. This is the symbol of photo transistor. As shown in this symbol, there are three terminals, base terminal, collector terminal and emitter terminal. Many times the base terminal is not shown, but in case of a photo transistor, incoming light is allowed to fall on the base terminal. Like the normal transistor, photo transistor provides the gain and you are getting the amplified output. This is the construction of the photo transistor. This is NPN transistor. This one shows emitter terminal. This is collector terminal and this part is for the base terminal. As shown in this diagram, incoming photons that means incoming light rays falls on the base terminal of photo transistor this is also shown in the symbol now whenever the photons are falling we know that it generates electron hole pairs that means these incoming photons are responsible or these incoming photons generates the base current of a transistor then depending on the gain factor transistor amplifies that uh, base current and at the output you are getting a amplified photo current this is the basic principle of working of a transistor now photo transistor can be operated in three modes one is active mode another in in active mode the transistor produces the photo current it can be operated in saturation mode or in cutoff condition. In both saturation and cutoff mode, transistor can be operated as a switch. Whenever it is operated in the active condition, the photo current is generated, rather amplified photo current is generated. This current depends on the, uh, on the following factors. So first factor is DC current gain of a transistor. As the name indicates, the gain factor amplifies the incoming signal so you are getting the amplified output current that means our amplified photon current at the output second factor is the response time as the name indicates it is the time taken by the transistor to generate the output current whenever the light is falling on the base terminal then luminous sensitivity it is basically related to the ratio of photon current that is output current to the amount of light intensity falling on the base terminal. So this is related to luminous sensitivity. Then collector base area as shown in this diagram as well as in, in this diagram in the constructional diagram incoming light is allowed to fall on the base terminal. So if the collector base region is wider then more photons will be falling on the uh, on that surface and more number of electron hole pairs are generated. Next, it also depends on the wavelength of the incident light. So this is about the construction and working of a photo transistor. Now let us discuss comparison between photodiode and photo transistor. These points you can well use it while writing the advantages as well as disadvantages. So first point of comparison is photodiodes are less sensitive, having less sensitivity. Photo transistors are having more sensitivity. Response of photodiode is fast compared to the phototransistor. So naturally this response is slow. <clears throat> Third, photodiode is more reactive to the incident light, whereas phototransistors are less reactive to the incident light. Then low ID, ID stands for dark current. We have discussed that whenever uh, the photons are not falling on the photodetector, still due to the ambient light, some current is flowing through the structure. That is the dark current. So in case of photodiode, comparatively, the value of dark current is low. In this case, value of dark current is high. Usually, photodiodes are connected in reverse paths. We have discussed while uh, studying the pin photodiode as well as APD. Phototransistors are connected in forward bias mode. Then, photodiodes have wide linear response range. Phototransistors have lower linear response range. Applications of photodiodes, these are the typical applications. In case of solar power generations, then UV ultraviolet detectors, then infrared IR detectors and so on. Applications of phototransistors includes lasers, smoke detectors, individual light receivers and so on. The next part is concept of bit error rate. It is abbreviated as BER. As the name indicates, there might be certain errors while transmitting the signal especially in case of optical cable 
if you are using a uh, digital data at the transmitter side and at the output you may it may happen that you may get errors that means if you are transmitting zero you may get one or if you are transmitting one due to error you may get zero so it is related to the term bit error rate basically ber bit error rate is the ratio of number of errors to the number of transmitted bits now in optical communication in case of fiber optic cable one error in 10 raised to 7 up to 10 raised to 10 bits is allowed so this much error is allowed you can say this much margin is allowed in case of optical cables uh, the data transmission is usually in terms of lots of kilometers uh, length so in that case many times regenerators or repeaters are used at the input of regenerative circuit or repeater circuit the input waveform or input signal is dis distorted so a lot of noise is introduced and it may happen that the uh, regenerated bits might be in error so it is difficult to identify whether the bit is 0 or 1 for such things some reference is used that is called as a threshold condition if the above if the signal strength is above the threshold level it is considered as one if the strength of signal is below the threshold level it is considered as zero then in case of optical communication the quantum noise has the poisons distribution but we want to keep this bit error rate minimum so to main uh, to maintain the lower value of bit error rate the noise distribution is considered to be a Gaussian one. This bit error rate mathematically can be expressed as any upon bt. Any represents number of bits in error. Bt represents the transmitted bits in a particular time period. So this is about the concept of bit error rate. Now, dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.